Hello, I'd like to speak with you today in regards to um, how to deal with negative emotions and stress. This information is coming from VeryWellMind.com, written by Elizabeth Scott and reviewed by Amy Morin. So, uh, a common problem or issue concern for many people is just how are we supposed to deal with negative emotions that keep coming up when we're stressed or feeling hurt? Uh, should we stuff our anger and frustration away and pretend like it does not exist? Or can we um, mi minimize the fallout from the emotions? So <clears throat> if you're wondering what to do with the feelings that you are having, um, you're not alone in struggling with those negative emotions. Many people have uh, the same or similar questions about stress and coping with it. When you're feeling overwhelmed or overcome with negative emotions like hurt, frustration, or anger, they know, or the individuals you should know, that um, you shouldn't pretend um, that you're not feeling anything, um, as well as kind of don't want to dwell on the negative emotions and feelings and ruminate off of those things. But you definitely should process those uh, thoughts and feelings of um, emotions or negative emotions. Uh, but while most of us have heard that uh, these are not healthy strategies for relief or stress relief, what are some other options? So choosing to deal with the negative emotions, ignoring the feelings may not be the healthiest way to deal with them. Um, your emotions uh, are signals uh, and it signals you to that what you're doing in life is or is not working. So feeling angry or frustrated can be a signal that something uh, should, can, will, needs to change. If you do not change the situation or the thought patterns that are causing these uncomfortable emotions, uh, you may continue to be triggered by, um, triggered by them, those negative emotions. So it is important to listen to your emotions and take the steps uh, to processing through them. Another thing is understanding your emotions. Um, when I'm looking within, try to pinpoint uh, a situation that created the stress, stress and the negative emotions within your life. So negative emotions can come from a triggered event or triggering event, an overwhelming workload. For example, negative emotions are also the result of our thoughts surrounding an event, uh, the way we interpret the uh, event and how it happened um, and what happened can alter how we experience the event and whether or not it can cause stress. The key uh, of your emotions is to uh, get you to acknowledge, see what the concern, issue, or problem is so that you can make the necessary changes for yourself. Uh, change what you can. Uh, take what you can learn from the first recommendation or suggestion and put it into practice. Cutting down on your stress triggers um, may find yourself feeling less in negative emotions more frequently. Uh, this could include cutting down on job stress, learning uh, the practices of assertive yet effective communication so you don't feel like you're being uh, taken advantage or trampled uh, over from people. So finding an outlet, making changes in your life can cut down on negative emotions and though it will not eliminate your stress triggers entirely. That's very important. So as you make changes in your life uh, to bring about less frustration, less stress, uh, also be mindful to find uh, healthful or healthy outlets for dealing with uh, those uh, negative emotions. So um finding opportunities to have fun and getting more laughter in your life uh, can uh, change your perspective and relieve stress for example so finding uh some outlets you need to feel um, less overwhelmed when emotions or negative emotions do arrive um, you also want to practice healthy options for ongoing stress reduction so it takes practice and definitely in working with a therapist, a licensed um, clinical um, 
uh, counselor, mental health professional, you will be able to uh, explore, um, also process through, as well as um, kind of uh, identify goals that you all want to um, kind of target in order to get to that place or those goals that you would like to attain. So I hope this information was of assistance for you today, and I hope you enjoy the remainder of your day.